Colleen, uh, this is, happened hours ago. The scene was active for a very long time, and authorities now on the hunt for the shooter or shooters responsible for this. Uh, the crime tape has now been taken down, and a, a tent that was covering the body that was just across the street here was taken down as well. Police now say the victim was a man in his 20s. He was shot at least once. Now, we're told this happened just before 11 o'clock last night. Police say witnesses saw a dark colored car leaving the scene just after the shooting. It's not clear at this point whether the shooter or shooters were inside that car when the gunshots were fired. That's still under investigation. Authorities also looking into whether this was a targeted shooting and whether or not this was gang related. Now, just after the gunfire, the LAPD shut down this busy intersection and blocked off all the surrounding areas. Longtime residents say this area is getting increasingly dangerous. At this particular intersection at Los Feliz and Brunswick, we see a lot of, it's a very nice neighborhood and a nice true neighborhood, but it seems like a hotbed for crime. Sort of heartbreaking when you live in a community where that's the sort of thing you need to be prepared for. And coroner's officials were on the scene earlier this morning to remove the body. It will be up to them to determine the victim's identity. Now back out here live, uh, investigators are saying that they're going to be looking for any potential surveillance video from any of these surrounding businesses trying to get more information that may lead them to the shooter or shooters. If you have any information on this crime, you're urged to come forward. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.